elbow, goes to the opposite corner. Cat got time, fires the three, and drains it again! Three for three from long range for Carl Anthony Towns. The Wolves go up five with five minutes left to go in the fourth quarter. Timberwolves Radio Network, Carl Anthony Towns finished with 25. We talked about this yesterday. I thought Minnesota would win the game. And the over-under for Carl Anthony Towns was 20, and I said take the over. I just felt like this was obviously the make-or-break game for them to give them a little bit of hope. Maybe it's false hope. He had to have a very good game. And I said go inside. So his first couple of baskets are inside. Get some confidence. Maybe they foul you. Maybe you get on a roll. Got on a roll in the second half. Anthony Edwards was great in the first half. And now you go back, and now you have a chance to at least make it interesting. But I don't know if it's false hope, because Luka and Kyrie didn't play great, um, and you won by five. But these games have been really close. Every game, the average margin is five points, and Carl Anthony Towns has played poorly until last night. And Anthony Edwards can't do it on his own. But Minnesota can go back, no pressure, play that way. Now you're saying to Dallas... Hey, if we get another game, we know we can win at your plate. Now you just want to create a mindset here. You want to say, we're not afraid of you. We've done in, we won in Denver a couple of times. We're not afraid of you. But Kyrie's going to play better. And Luca, even though he had a triple-double, it's weird to say he had a triple-double. He didn't play well, didn't shoot well. But Dallas now goes, that's one of those where you go, Boston is just resting. They're going to have nine days you know, if, if if this thing keeps, you know, stretched out to, you know, six games, seven games, back and forth, and then we got to face Boston. This is where you wanted to polish them off last night. You couldn't do it. Give credit to Minnesota. They played well. And Carl Anthony Towns, now you got to do it again. What are the odds that Minnesota could do what's never been done in the history of the NBA playoffs, and that is come back from 3-0, to win a series. Paulie? Never been done. Never been done. I think it's 150 to zero. So that Nugget team years ago with Dikembe, was that a five-game series? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, that's right. But also last year, the Heat and the Celtics, that went to seven. But, uh, you know, the Heat were able to win game seven the in Celtic, Boston. The Celtics false hoped. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Does Minnesota have false hope? What, what are the odds of Minnesota coming back to win this series. I got Minnesota plus 425 to win a series. So a hundy wins you 425. That's it? That is it. I oh, thought it would be a little longer. Um, wait. This has never been done in the history of the NBA. Yeah. It's, it's like a 16 seed in the, in the tournament. Yeah. 425. Yeah. Does that mean they have more confidence, the betters, the book bookies, than you'd expect? Because they are the favorites. They so, are. They are. They have home court advantage. They were the higher seed. Yes, Todd? I think a lot of people haven't taken any polls about it, but think that the uh, Timberwolves will be done tomorrow night. So I'm shocked to see that that's the little amount of money you get for them to go the rest of the way. And Would you bet around. on them losing tomorrow night? I'm not a betting man, but I think it's over tomorrow night. I okay. think uh, they got their one-game gentleman sweep, and they're finished tomorrow night, Okay, even though they're home. All right. All right. I don't know. I just had a weird feeling yesterday talking to Reggie Miller that Minnesota was going to win – uh, and sometimes when you're not supposed to win is when you win. And I'm watching the game and I'm going, okay, tied at halftime. They've survived Anthony Edwards. Then all of a sudden, Carl Anthony Towns lights up the night. And that was the difference here. You know, he had 25 and he was hitting his three pointers. And you get a little momentum here. And maybe, maybe extend this to six games, seven games. Yes, Eaton? It is tough, though, to. For me to like uh, put away the idea that Carl Anthony Towns all of a sudden had to hit, you know, like five threes in two minutes in order for the Timberwolves <laughs> to hold off the Mavericks where Kyrie and Luca are having a terrible night. Like, listen, missing layups yeah. that bad of a night. Yeah. Wide open shots they're missing that they normally knock down. They needed Cat to all of a sudden catch fire to push them over the edge. It's tough to figure that uh, out. Yeah, I know. Yes, Paul. And I wish wish Kyrie Irving would think about us. We spent about two days talking about he's having a career <laughs> resurgence, and then he goes one for six from three. Yeah, help us out. Man. Timing's everything. It's like Anthony Edwards. Come on, we're talking about you and Jordan. What are you doing? I still I had somebody say that I'm watching the game yesterday. I had a friend say I don't see the comparison with Michael Jordan. I said there shouldn't be a comparison. He goes, well, you guys. I go, no, not you guys. 
there are members of the media that are trying to hype this, you know, and it's, it's not fair to him. He didn't ask for it. He said he didn't want it, but we see some traits there, characteristics. Mike didn't do anything until he was 27, I think, you know, getting to a Eastern Conference Finals. So just be fair. Gosh, we want it to happen immediately. You're either great or you're not. Then all of a sudden, somebody after three years, you're like, golly, man, he wasn't very good. Like Josh Allen, when I watched him play, when he first got in the league, I go, oh, my God. He's got to learn how to play. Now, all of a sudden, we know that he's one of the, what, two or three best quarterbacks in the league. But that's, you got to give people a little bit of time. But we don't, you know, coaches, you got two years. You know, unless you're the Lakers and Suns, you get one year, and then you're gone. It's like whoever's going to coach the Lakers. How many years do you think they have? Two? Maybe? Three at the most? I mean, Frank Vogel got one year. <laughs> Darvin Ham took his team to the Western Conference Finals, or at least he was the coach of the team that West. And then they fired him next year. It's, we, it, it's so immediate, the gratification that we expect. And then members of the media get mad at the player because the player doesn't live up to the hype they gave him, which isn't you know fair to that player. 